Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video I'm going to explain what the Google attributes are for Google uh, AdWords. So the Google AdWords allows you to uh, improve your uh, bidding in Google AdWords. So when we have added a campaign to our uh, Google AdWords account we can separate them by the labels. Now, you can see that I've already added quite a few labels here, but let's assume that I haven't added anything. All you have to do is when you click on your product item and go to product, all products, click on the little writer, you can separate them by quite a variety of uh, labels. So the standard labels are category, brand, item ID, condition, product type, channel and channel exclusivity. The custom labels are these ones. These you can add into your data feed. So you need to have a custom label zero, for example, and then you add that label. Here you can see that I've added quite a few labels. So all you have to do is just click on the add. As you can see, I've already added dining furniture and log dining as they belong into one category. Once you've added them, simply click on save. What this does is adds, it was dining, so log dining and dining furniture. Now you can further um, define them into a lower group. So you click on the log dining, you click on the gear, uh, the added button again, go to label one and you can see that log furniture is in there. So that's one label. Uh, you can have multiple labels. So if we go and look at this one, you can see that custom label one has multiple labels. So if I just remove them, you can see that they are here. So simply add them and then click on save. What this does is allows you to bid on each category differently. This allows you to, for example, if there are certain products that are more valuable, you can add more uh, CPC, so click per cost or a lower one, and you do this by just changing this value. Always make sure if you have multiple uh, campaigns, so let's say you have one data feed and you've got 1000 products and you have multiple different products in that uh, campaign uh, into your AdWords com uh, group. So all you have to do is go to the main group and add new campaigns, new shopping campaign. And as you can see, I've added multiple ones here. Now, for example, if we go to gazebos, here you will see that I've added multiple gazebos defined by custom label one, which is wooden, cedar, log and vinyl. So this allows us to change the bid on each individual um, group. Now what you have to be aware of is to always exclude everything else. If you have multiple campaigns, so we've got one that is for gazebos, one that is for bedroom, one that is for uh, living room. Now these three uh, groups can have theoretically all your products, but you need to exclude them. The only way to exclude them, which is very simple, is simply to change from a bidding, which is normally standard, to excluded. And when you click on excluded, it will just gray this out and disallow all the other products. And you can see what pro products are inside of it if we just click on here and then we can see all the products. So this also allows you, if you have multiple campaigns, to have your search keywords more defined. So if we go to dimensions and click on search terms, you will be able to see all the searched words for that campaign. If we instead have everything included into one big campaign, so all the 1000 products in one campaign, then you have a little bit of a problem identifying what is what. For example, if a particular search term is visible in your uh, search terms for 1000 products, so let's say wooden as a, as a hypothetical keyword, 
then you would not necessarily know if this belongs from gazebo or does it belong from somewhere else. And this information can be very, very valuable because then you can identify new search terms or just exclude them per campaign level. So for example, gazebo is a campaign level, then I can exclude the word wooden from, from that search because I'm not looking for people who are interested in just wooden. Um, so this is more defined and everything else that you can do uh, in, the, in, the, in the view area, you can pretty much um, uh, see them as well. Um, if you don't want to add multiple campaigns, you can actually add multiple ad groups. So if we go to the gazebos, so this is one ad group. Let's say this is shopping general, so all my products. Um, then you can go to um, the, the, the ad group and add multiple ad groups. This will allow you to filter them out in the search terms. So what you have to do is just create filter and then by add group and then just choose your ad group. As there is only one, of course, then that's only one that's going to show. But if you have, for example, all products, so you've got gazebos, you've got living room, uh, you've got your uh, outdoor accessories or whichever, and then you can add them uh, to, to add them or remove them from your search terms, and then that will define it. Um, why I have set it up as a um, campaign per group is that my client requires a specific uh, analytics for each campaign. Uh, so in analytics, you can see your AdWords uh, campaigns, the, the, the drop-off rate and all the information that you can see in, in analytic um, will allow you to define it much better because then you can see which products in which group are performing better and which are not. If you again have everything in one uh, campaign, it's much harder to uh, filter them out. Now be aware that if you don't have many products, this is not very beneficial. Um, so it is beneficial to have your, your uh, labels, which you can see here, so all your labels. But if you have um, only 100 products, then you don't need to add multiple uh, campaigns, just uh, add multiple ad groups. Um, so I hope this has been very useful. Um, I'm sure it, it, it will be because it has helped me quite a lot. And um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will answer every single question and uh, hope to see you next time. Thank you very much.